Hey guys and welcome to River Evan Collects. Last time we looked at Mandarin Spawn, both the red variant and the blue variant, and today we are looking at the deluxe variant, I guess. So this is Mandarin Spawn, a uh, deluxe version. So he's obviously got a lot of weapons and things with him and a somewhat completely different style to the other ones. So maybe if you haven't watched the other ones, uh, go watch those, I'll leave it up here so you can watch that or watch them after, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, this is what we're gonna be looking at today. So this was released in 2021, so only about two years old now. And yeah, this one looks yeah quite a bit different to the other ones. And uh, yeah, I, I uh, kindly harshly, I harshly criticized the other Mandarin spawns that we unboxed. And unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna be any different. So yeah, prepare yourselves, but let's get him out of his box and check him out. All right, guys. So this one's got a lovely black box with all the sort of clouds and stuff on it. And then we've got our Mandarin spawn deluxe version. So he's got a lot of weapons and things, and yeah, I guess that's what makes him deluxe. He also looks a lot different from the other ones. So here's that black box I was talking about, and yeah, I quite like it. Uh, it looks cool. Back looks awesome. I love like all the little detailing of the pattern in the back. Love that. But yeah, like, I really like the minimalist look that they're going for with these. I think it makes them stand out a lot more from other figures and toys. But uh, it's probably to their detriment as well, I think. And there's the bottom. So anyway, let's get him out of his box. We've just got three tabs at the top, I believe. And this also comes with a bonus. So we've got this lovely art print that it comes with so i guess that's part of the deluxe package but yeah i really like it um let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments is this something that you would like for every figure or most figures because i really like this i think it's awesome like i'm gonna hang it up <laughs> all right let's get that out of the way though and get the main figure out so he just slides out very easily which is very nice and here we have him so lots of details obviously they went for like a more of a red gold version so i kind of wish they had picked something else so that the red and blue could probably like stand out a bit more beside him and then of course we got the stand in the back of this like beautiful box that could have been a display if it wasn't for this little stand being in there but that's exactly the same as the rest of the stands. So let's get him out. We've got his shield here and I'm very impressed by this shield. This looks really cool. Um, you can't really see the dragon's face like on there. You see the nose and the mouth, but I can't see the eyes and the back. This is really cool. It's got uh, a nice wood finish and the rope's like very crisp. I really like this. And yeah, the front's very crisp as well. Now onto the weapons, so we've got this like weird sword and yes it is very bent. Uh, it's something that is very common with these figures that all the swords and stuff have been bent. This is pretty much the same as the other ones as well. Um, I can't remember the difference, I guess it's because it's all gold on the uh, handle. And then we've got this one as well, so this one's slightly different. We've got the silver top and then the gold handle and yeah i love the pattern on there however this is bent as well as you probably noticed and then we've got uh the what do you call this like the double sword so this is like the old old mandarin spawn that i unboxed he had a double sword like this and it's incredible but this one's yeah it's all right i like the little spawn symbols on it but let's get mandarin spawn himself out and yeah here he is so yeah lots of details um definitely a step up from the other two and i do appreciate that as, as you're paying for like a deluxe one you expect deluxe quality so i think he was about 15 dollars more than the other ones and he's still got that elbow problem though but yeah i guess some things never change so yeah that's staying there his head's got a bit of articulation a bit to the sides and then we got like his torso 
then his legs so yeah all these are like all the same models obviously they painted them different so this is going to have the exactly the same articulation as the rest of them but the real test let's see if we can get his weapons in his hands i'm going to be displaying him with the shield and the double sword um, i'm not going to bother even testing out the other weapons i think you know we've seen them on the other ones so i don't think we really need to see him here but i thought i'd just show you guys uh it's a little bit tough you have to peel back his fingers here not the biggest fan of doing that because they will loosen over time and if you get this for your kid then yeah they will uh continue to loosen as they're played with but this is basically how i'm going to display them but anyway guys i'll leave you with the showcase and then i'll be back with my final thoughts Alright guys, that has been a look at the Deluxe Mandarin Spawn. So, uh, unfortunately, I've got to say it, there's not really anything Deluxe about this. Yes, he has more details, he's got different things about him, but honestly, he's not that much better than the other Mandarin Spawns we already looked at. I will say they've done a little bit of a better job with the back on this one compared to the other ones. Um, yeah, let me, let me do the negatives first. Obviously, this is not as detailed as the old Mandarin spawns, which, if you watched the previous video, um, I, I'm really disappointed that, yeah, this doesn't have the details of those ones, I think. Particularly for a deluxe one that, assumably, you're paying more for, it should just have better details. It should have better things about it. Again, this could be easily fixed with a wash and a dry brush and it would look awesome. I will say I was really impressed with the shield. Um, that's the sort of level of detail that I want. Like I didn't expect them to do the details on the shield but they did and it was very crisp and it looked really cool. But uh, yeah everything else again is just lacking. Uh, this top thing, I forget what you call these, like the ponytail thing. Uh, this is very loose, it's also very big and bulky and heavy. Uh, I think if you got this for your kid and they played with it, this is definitely going to snap off. Like, I'm not going to be playing with it, so it's not going to snap off, but I think definitely with play, it will snap off. Um, what else can I say about this? Overall, I'm just, yeah, really disappointed again. Um, 
you know, again, I try not to be negative, but uh, to put it in the shortest term possible, you know, we got this lovely art card with it. And unfortunately, this is probably the best part of the whole box, to be honest. Um, I absolutely love this art card. I'll probably display it like up here with the rest of the art card things that I have. This is really cool. And unfortunately, it looks better than the figure, which um, I guess with an art card it probably should, but it looks way better than the figure, which, yeah, just, it really sucks. So, sorry if I'm a bit of a negative Nelly on this one. Uh, these are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments. Um, you know, I don't think, I hope this doesn't put anybody off buying it. I think if you're a spawn collector, then yeah, you know, this is definitely one you're gonna wanna pick up and display. But yeah, it is it is really lacking, which is just really unfortunate. But yeah, anyway guys, leave me a comment down below, leave me a like. If it's your first time here, subscribe. Next time we're gonna be unboxing the 2021 Saigor. So that should be a really interesting one. But uh, yeah, do all that good stuff. Leave me some nice comments down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.